alkanes are saturated hydrocarbons. Let's start by looking at their reaction with oxygen, in other words, their combustion. Here are two examples. The components of crude oil, like petrol and diesel, are alkanes. Here we can see a huge fire caused as some crude oil explodes. And we can also see a much smaller fire when candle wax, which is also an alkane, burns. When an alkane reacts with oxygen, we call that kind of reaction combustion because it's burning. We could also call it oxidation. What are the products of combustion of alkanes? Here we have an example of pentane reacting with oxygen. Oxygen. The bonds between the various atoms break, and then we get new combinations of compounds. The carbons react with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and the hydrogen atoms that used to be part of the pentane react with oxygen to form water molecules. So we have two products, water and carbon dioxide. And of course, we also have the product of energy, which is the whole reason why we do this combustion reaction. That's why alkanes are so valuable to us, because by burning them, we get energy that we can use, for example, in our vehicles, or even if it's just for lighting when we don't have electricity. So the products of combustion of alkanes are carbon dioxide, water and energy. Now we can show this practically. Here we have some candle wax, which is, as I've already said, an alkane. We burn it. We place a gas jar over it so that we can capture the products. After a while, we notice condensation on the surface of this gas jar. What does that tell us? It tells us that water is a product. Now, the immediate form of the product was vapor, water vapor, but as that water vapor rose and went against the cooler sides of the gas jar, it condensed into water liquid, and that's what we see on the sides making it cloudy. And that's how we can know that one of the products of combustion of an alkane is water. Now, we suspect, as we've previously discussed, that another product is carbon dioxide. How can we detect that? We turn the gas jar around, carbon dioxide is denser than air, so it should stay inside the gas cylinder, even though we open the top. We now add some clear lime water, and we know that one of the tests for carbon dioxide is that clear lime water turns milky in the presence of carbon dioxide. And sure enough, we see that it does turn milky, confirming that another of the products of combustion of alkanes is carbon dioxide.